हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंग्रेचुलेसन स्टूडेंट यू आर कंटिन्यू टेकिंग योर द वीडियोस योर क्लासेस एंड यू आर डूइंग हार्ड वर्क एट योर होम सो हैव सो क्लैप फॉर योर सेल्फ बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग अ वेरी हार्ड वर्क एट योर होम सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टीच यू अबाउट द क्रॉप्स एक्चुअली वॉट आर द क्रॉप्स दैट प्लांट्स वी आर कल्टिवेटिंग इन द लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ इन अ पर्टिकुलर प्ले इट द पर्टिकुलर प्लेस आर यू कैन सी इन द पर्टिकुलर फील्ड that is called your crops and it is also give us a fruit it is also give us a food fruits raw materials right so these all are called your crops and uh, such as you can say just like a cloth medicines timbers so these all are the examples of your crops so what is the next topic is what is the agriculture so when the farmers practicing practicing of a growing of a plant in the large amount of a, in the large quantity in the particular field that is called your for the their purposes for their purposes like if he uh, growing for eating food if he go, growing for the economy it is if he is going for the uh, selling these types of the seeds or the weeds or the rice so these are the purposes of a farmer so when the farmers practicing of a growing plant in a particular place or the field for the various purposes so this is called your agriculture just like the rice is the most cultivated crop in our country right student so you can see here the cultivation of rice it is happening like this so these are the process and i hope you all are have seen in your field in your village area and okay so second topic is kinds of crops so what are the kinds of crops there are the various types of the crops so we will learn here from the one by one okay so what the first is the food crops what are the food crops when the farmers are cultivating food cultivating the plants for the food purposes like when the maize rice pulses sugarcane and wheat these all are the all are the example of a food crops because we are taking we are taking food from these kind of so plants so these are the you call your food crops the next topic is the fiber crops so what are the fiber crops just like the jute cotton flax hemp these are these all are give us a fibers from the plant so that these are you call your fibers plant next topic is our oil producing crops what are the oil producing crops which plants give us oil we are getting oil from which plant that plants are called your oil producing crops okay which crops is giving us oil such as you can say the mustard oil sunflower oil soya bean canola jatropha so these all are your oil producing crops so students so there are the two types of the crops mainly you can see uh, it's mean you can see in the according to your season okay so which plants grow in a summer season that's all that's all are called your kharif crops like the rice jowar bajra jute hemp peanuts maize and in the vegetable you can say spinach brinjals tomatoes onion pumpkin garlic so these all are the things and you can see you can say in the uh, you you have seen in the summer vacation in the summer season you have seen also in the fruit peas lychees mango watermelon so these all are your kharif crops so the next topic is what is the rabi crops which plants are grown in winter season that's all are called your that's crops are called your rabi crops just like you can say the wheat grain rabi crops like radishes turnips carrots peas mustard cauliflower cauliflower cabbage beans so these are the vegetables are you can say the fruits are you are the the exam best example of your rabi crops and in the fruits you can say in the winter is like apple orange okay pomegranate so these all are the fruits are you generally you can say these are in your the best example of your rabi crops so our the next topic is healthy crops what means what is the mean of the healthy crops we know about that if you want to if we 
wanted to fit ourselves we have to do the exercise but the plants can't do the exercise so what how they will healthy because healthy plant will give us a healthy food so there are the various types of things the technique uh, the rules and regulations are uh, you can say the various types of the um, seeds fertilizers so these are the things are followed by the farmers so farmers are using these types of the technique to make healthy their food their crops so first of all what they are doing if you are going the they require the kind of a soil first of all different kind of soil have a different types of the fertile fertile level just like if you are going for the make if you are in a desert and you are going to uh, grow your rice plant or the wheat so is it possible maybe it is not possible because we have seen before there are the two types of the crops who <coughs> who uh the uh, the plant that grows in winter that is called your ravi crops and the plant which are which grown in summer season that is called your kharif crop so it's depend on season also and it depend on the soil also right so the rice so these are the things so with these process we can make the uh, plant healthy okay so here are the example are like the rice grows in a wet okay clayey soil but the ground and need the pores okay and the sandy soil therefore the farmer decided various types of the crops and to be the grown in the after elevating the soil in their fields when he checked the soil when he checked the seed when he checked the all these thing all the these condition then he will uh, do the their cultivation okay so second thing is the manner and the fertilization fertilizers so we all are know that the farmers are using the fertilizers in the sufficient quantity because it is if we are using the excessive fertilizers so it will help the soil and it is also harm the your soil and also your the cultivation of that your soil okay so what happened after that when you will use after that the soil will not give you the proper growth of that your field and the cultivation level is being that will go low okay so the pro these are the things so that's why the fertilizers they are using they are using in a sufficient uh, amount of the fertilizers for the their crops okay the second thing is uh, the second point and uh, the third point is your what the aquatic water what is the mean of aquatic water so they are using Uh, aquatic water is the sufficient water for their crops because there are the various types of the crops have a various types of the need of a water just like we are talking about the rice so rice takes uh, much more water okay a lot of water but if you are going for the wheat here is the wheat so wheat also wheat have a need of only the less of water you can say very uh, short amount of water who take the wheat okay so the water so water is very important the different stages and different plant have a diff for the different growth so they want a different types of the water and aquatic water so what is the next point so next point is when we uh, when we go to uh, show in that uh, our seeds so we should be mature that should that should should be mature and the good quality because when the crops when your seed will not in a, the when the seed will not mature and when it is not a good when the seed have not a good quality so how can it will give you a good uh, healthy crops so this is very important and the second thing is that when we are going to plant in our, the field so the seeds should not be planted too much close of each other because it will not go into deep in the soil because it these are the rules okay so what we sh we should not be planted too close to each other or too deep in the soil also bahut zyada andar bhi laga denge ya bahut close laga denge to bhi kya ho jayegi problem ho jayegi to bhi crops healthy nahi ho payega and it will not grow as well as jaisa usse hona chahiye tha right so the next topic the next point is the crop should spread with the pesticides and insecticides so these all the these all are the things which 
keep free from the pests and the diseases for harmful animals and extreme chemicals are also you also harm the people right okay so these are the things which gave us a protection from the pets and the diseases just like the plants have some disease so when we spread these types of things so the plant will become healthy okay but when we use of these types of the things pesticides so it will become so much harmful for the animals and also for the human being so right now what we are doing we are using the chemical now this time we are using the bio pesticides which are special types of the pesticides which are the biodegradable in the nature because it means that it is all the these types of pesticides is consumed by the our environment and it is not harmful for the the people who are the people and the environment also and it is it will not harmful our environment so such types of the pesticides we can use for for the our healthy crop when whenever the farmer feel that it is possible then the farmer can use and also the weeding what is the weeding weeding should should be done regularly what is the weeding is the removing of unwanted plants so we have seen in our the plant in the field that uh, when we are growing the plants so there are the unwanted plants are also available there so the weeding is the process the weeding that should be done in the regularly when we are doing the weeding so what happened the plant will there the plant these unnecessary unwanted plants will now there okay so these are the rules so we can make our plants or the crops healthy okay student so here are the next topic is protections of crops and store of seeds so how can we uh, get protect them and how can we store our seed what are the process so there are the some points are given here first is the bird insects pets such are the rats and the squirrel these are all these are the insects and the animals are on the birds are also harming our crops so keep so protect your crops with them and third, second point is bad weather and such as the excessive of rain what happened in the bad weather will the weather is not good suppose right now the rice have a need of a lot of water if the farmer is not capable when at that time the rainfall then rain have happened okay so what happened so the ground will be a um, full uh, full of the water so the farmer have need of a lot of water when it will helpful for the weather the weather help to the farmer so it will become easier for them but in the other form the bad, the weather is not so good and when the farmer don't have need of much water in a just a, you can say in na when he crop the when he cultivating the wheat so we all know that the wheat don't have need of lots of water and that time the rainy season that and that time the rain fall on that ground okay the water there the lots of water in their field so what happened the excessive rain of water excessive rain it also help destroy the your crop third is diseases in the previous topic we had uh, we had discussed about the the diseases also infect their leaves stems roots and food also and the uh, fruits also so these are the diseases so keep uh, so protect your uh, crops with these types of the diseases and gazing the animals such as the cows and goats so gazing the animals like means what when the animals enter in your field the goats enter in your field and what they will do they will gazing their all the crops so how can we protect them we can make a fence of the field so preventing uh, from the gazing animal from enter them okay so what we can do we can make these types of thing we can make a fence and we can uh, protect our the field so these are the things so these are the things so we can do it and how can we store we should uh, store this these when we get the seed from the crop so we can should we should be store in the right container after the harvesting because it will prevent from the getting the spoil because when it will because when the container is not so good the moisture can your destroy your other destroy your seeds okay so moisture is also for that and the your nest is your bird if you are you cultivate you harvested your crops and you keep as it is 
in the field so what happened the birds can come and they can eat all your crops all your seeds okay so here are the some stages of agriculture so you can see here here is given the first is the field are plugged so we all are know that this is these are the manners so first of all we plug the field and after that manner of the adding of the soil so these are the things and second and third topic is seed are sown when we can see the seeds are sown and the field are supplied with the water this is called the irrigation when we the field supply the water the field is supplied the water what is mean that when we are putting the water for the plant so this is called the irrigation okay the protects the crop the crops for the spreading with the pesticide <coughs> when i had taught you about that when the disease when the crops get disease when it is the when the crops will not healthy and when the farmer want to protect their crops with the diseases so what they are what they do they they are trying to spread the pesticide okay so this is the second fifth process and third and sixth is your what the crops are then cut and gathered in the is this called the harvesting when the plant grow and mature then after that farmers go to the field and harvesters are cut all the crops and this process is called your harvesting so after the crops is harvested the grain are stored in a granaries okay so when i had taught you about that in the previous topic when the farmers cut all the crops and he get the uh, get the seed and the fruits and the their crops so what he will do he will first of all when he get the grain he will uh, go to store in the container in the good container and he protect their seeds from the moisture and the birds and the animals and all the things so i hope students you all are know this chapter very well so first of all revise this chapter because here is your chapter number 1 is complete so in the next video i will give you the uh, question answer and the exercises so revise it once again and i will meet you in another video so take care bye bye